Hi, this is Velta's Angel, vlogging my journey to turn a hobby into a business. Hi, welcome to the video. This is my first video after my comeback video and I'm still kind of like nervous and I'm kind of like trying to figure out um, exactly how I want to like schedule everything out. Uh, I do have a lot of footage of, of material that I've recorded and I am editing it now so it's going to take me some time to get all of that stuff done. Uh, and by the way, my I do have some notes that I'm referring to so um, if my eyes avert the camera, please forgive me. I'm still trying to get in the swing of this. So, oh actually I, I've got the wrong grouping of cards. Yeah, I use index cards because they kind of help me to uh, keep myself on track. So, uh, give me a second. <laughs> Here it is. Um, I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because I'm actually filming this just before I'm going to go to work. I, I've been up since 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. I was so excited about the day. And um, I just decided to just quickly do this really quick video. Um, one thing that I was, I was going through... Um, some of the content that I have prepared for you guys in the future but I came across um, a video that I did right after I filmed my comeback video and I wanted to kind of share that with you just um, it was kind of a rant and I kind of talked a little bit about the feelings that I had going into that video and just kind of overcoming them and dealing with them. So without further ado, here's that video. Okay guys, okay guys, I just finished shooting my first comeback video. I love it. I did some other pickup um, voice stuff that I wanted to kind of make sure that were, I hit all the points that I wanted to hit in the video. It's kind of awkward because uh, I'm, I'm not used to like memorizing a script and that was really I that's really tough. <laughs> um, however, I mean, I really want to show you the entire process of what I'm doing now and all my plans. And so um, I really want this behind the scenes stuff is really where all the learning um, uh, is where I really want to share you know a lot of the things that's going on behind the scenes I'll just go through the comeback video for you so you can kind of get an idea of what I did in order to stage the comeback um, I didn't do and which I probably should have done was like pre gamed with like a Facebook uh, post and you know all of that social media pre-game stuff that uh, you know is really helpful to do um, however I really just wanted to uh, get get back in the game you know put on the boxing gloves and start getting in there you know what I mean <laughs> I just wanted to start doing it. I wanted to stop thinking about it and talking about it and I just wanted to do it. And um, I just did it. I feel so good about that. I feel so um, accomplished like because it's one of those things where you're just like I've been dreaming about doing this for years now. I wanted to make a comeback video like the week after I finished my my last video you know in November of 2015 I wanted to come back in December but you know it just didn't happen and time just kept on creeping along and I kept making excuses it got harder and harder to um, face the truth uh, that I was afraid of being in front of the camera terrified of it in fact because my physical looks was changing, I was getting older, and um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting older. I just feel as if it's one's personal perception of how you're aging that's really like um, kind of engulfs you. And so there is this 
this idea that I was holding myself that my younger self was much more together, much more uh, had more energy and was more vibrant and more alive and more virile. You know, there was something more um, incredible about her, and that's great. And that I look at my oh, my younger self that way. It was so funny at the time. I felt like I was a loser. So, <laughs> so it's it's interesting to look back on who I used to be and think, wow, she was so she was awesome. You know, I used to be able to do this and I used to be able to do that. Okay, well, things have changed. There are things I can do now that I never could have done when I was younger because I just didn't have the skills or the patience or the wisdom, and I have it now. So I won't change uh, and trade up. Um, you know that part of myself anymore I am uh, here right now as a testament to the fact that I I definitely feel within my soul that I'm supposed to do something good with um, my ideas and my thoughts and my dreams and I shouldn't just dream anymore I should actually do the things that I dream and you know it, it's I gotta do it so that that's a, a great moment that I discovered for myself and I don't know if that will if anyone has gone through that before they look at themselves in a different stages of them, their their lives and kind of look at it with rose-colored glasses uh, but I I know I was doing that for a while and then something said snap out of it okay it's your you need to like just let go of those ideas and beliefs and just have some courage here so uh, this is me with some courage so I filmed it it feels great that I filmed my first comeback video um, I really wanted to do it for a long time as I said before and it it's it really um, reaffirms the energy that I'm putting forth towards my intention it, it it's like the extra uh, it's like the 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 engine is all revved up and ready to go and um, I'm I'm flooring I'm flooring the uh, the go pedal I am <laughs> all right so yeah that was what was kind of on my mind uh, on right after filming and I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was kind of cute and it kind of gets you into the mindset of what actually you know some of the roadblocks I have to kind of go through psychologically and I think for everybody it's going to be different for some people it's going to be um it's, it might be a physical aspect for some people it's going to be a psychological aspect some people it's going to be about like doing the editing process or not feeling confident that they're going to have uh, a good camera to take the right videos and um to or to have good looking video equipment or good sound for a lot of people that's a big issue it's a big issue for me um, but I have bigger issue which is being in front of the camera in the first place um, so or just feeling like I belong in front of the camera because that's another issue too um, so dealing with those issues of of, um, of being in front of the camera um, I'm probably gonna go into that a little bit deeper as I do more videos but for now just trying to figure out the structure of how I want to make my videos and if I want to do any gimmicks or any kind of like branding things and right now I haven't really found anything that's really um, that that I feel is really gonna stick or I really like or I really think is is appropriate I had some things I was working on but I'm pretty much creating everything in front of you right now and I do want to you know let you know about all these <laughs> that's my alarm telling me that I need to leave uh, well 
it's my last alarm to get me up in the morning and it's 7 30 right now so um yeah that's the, my last alarm that means i could be sleeping right now which i'm not so um yeah that's pretty much my um you know i really want to go through everything and i want to really expose the behind the scenes whether like i said probably in my last video whether i fail or i succeed i want you guys to see the process of what it's like to create something on youtube or create a business from something that you think that's a hobby or a, a craft or something just what it's like to start out from scratch and really not have an idea of what you're you're going to do but you want it to become something more that's just setting up a couple of ideas for the show if you have anything that you wanted to add as far as like hey it would be cool if you covered this if you talked about this or you have a specific question for me in particular go ahead and leave it in the comments um you know I really, really appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you in the very next video.